Hello everybody, uh, before this video starts, uh, uh, it would be really a breakful if you could subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers, let's jump into it. Okay, so in number 5, we have the PXN2113 USB flight stick. It is $50 retail, uh, but it is an extremely cheap joystick, and I don't recommend it for anyone who's been using this, who's been flying planes on a simulator for a long time. So, um, yeah. Uh, don't buy this if you're in if you've been in the business for a long time. But if you're just getting started, this is a great little one. It's got a bunch of customizable buttons, but it isn't. But it is uh, quite cheap. Uh, yeah, that was the first one. Okay, so in number four we have the Logitech Extreme 3D Pro. Uh, this one comes fully equipped with a precision twist rudder control and 12 programmable buttons. It has an 8-way hat switch and a rapid fire trigger uh, and a contoured grip and stable weighted base. It is 61 US uh, Australian dollars but 40 US dollars. Um, this one is, I I've actually bought this one and it's pretty good. It's got like a, um, it's got a bunch of customized ones which you can do for your landing gears and it's got an inboard throttle. So you can use this one uh, however you please. Uh, so, you, so you don't just have to buy a throttle for it, it already has a throttle inbuilt, which is for a lot of these. Uh, this one is available on Windows 10 and 8 and 7. Not available on Windows 7, uh, 11 yet, so get back there. Uh, it's really easy to just plug this one in and sometimes the game uh, even recognizes it and it will automatically do it for you. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that's a really good one. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Okay, so in number three, we have the uh, Airbus uh, joystick, Thrustmaster Airbus joystick. Uh, Thrustmaster is thrilled to launch with its first civil aviation related gaming accessory, officially licensed by Airbus. It is a realistic flight experience and it's an ergonomic replica of the Airbus um, A320 or A320neo. It features 12 remappable, uh, remappable action buttons, offering a multi uh, multitude of possibilities, plus a built-in throttle. So, once again, it's a standardized one. It also has a reverse thrust mechanism. This design of the joystick's head is both versatile and modular, and it uh, you can easily adjust the slide stick's configuration before each takeoff. Uh, you have a... Uh, it's, it's left-handed, I think, so you can actually fly like the... Um, uh, pilot or actual actual one. Uh, this one has a heart cool acute rate technology system, which is ensuring an even more realistic sensations thanks to the magnetic sensors providing up to 14 bit resolution. Uh, this one is a great buy for people who've been playing it for quite a bit of time. It is also quite cheap, coming in at uh, it comes in at 115 USD. So you can't go this this wrong. It's a really great uh, joystick, and I highly recommend it. My friend's got one of these, and he says it's pretty good. And uh, yeah, it's, it ca can be a bit pricey, but um, I'll leave a link to this one in the description. In number two, we have the Thrustmaster T1 16,000 M FCS joystick. It retails for one hundred and forty nine dollars. Uh, that's Australian. Uh, it has a fully ambidextrous joystick, and it has 16 actions braille system identification. It's um so you can you can use that for landing gear or just uh, like gear brake. It has a throttle, and it has four independent independent axes, including a rudder twist, so you can twist it around while you're doing it. Uh, this one I don't believe has a weighted thing, and it is made out of plastic, so it can feel a bit cheap. But it is a really good buy. Um, I'd say it can be a little bit expensive, so I would probably go with the second one, the Airbus. But uh, so whatever you're feeling, this one is like a, a obviously cabled, and it has a uh, shooter stick, so, and that's pretty cool. So if you're using like anyone to acquire a shooter, that is definitely, and you can't go wrong with that. Um, this one is comes in uh, different varieties of color. There is a blue one, which is interesting. And uh, yeah, it's got a really nice feel to it uh, from what I've watched in the videos. And uh, you, it's kind of expensive, but it's available on Windows 8, 
uh, 7 and 10, no Windows 11, I'll leave a link this one in. This one also has multiple um, uh, buttons, which you can switch, obviously, to your landing gear, brake, other stuff like that. Um, and yeah, that's pretty, uh, and that's, that's that description. In number one, or my favourite one anyway, the Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS X joystick for PC and PS3. So this one, as it says, is available on PC and PS3. It is 121 USD, but the reason I like this one better than most of them is it's got a throttle as well. So uh, most, of, most of the time you have to buy a throttle separately, and it can be a quite uh, quite expensive. Uh, other ones of these, it, um, it presides the same level of realism as most of the other ones, and it preaches a large armrest, so it can be um, so it's, it's not that like hard to use. This one is also used for shooter shooter games like um, so shooter plane games. So uh, that one has a four auto trigger on it. Um, it is quite maneuverable, so you can do loops and turns and quite fast. It has a, it doesn't have many assignable buttons, but it also has a prefigured for instant takeoff. So that's pretty that, that's that's a nice feature. It has a uh, plug and play technology and it's very easy to use. Uh, it uses the heart uh, system as well. It also has a removable gas lever which delivers super sensitive performance. So uh, you can uh, use your sensitivity. So that is a great one to buy because uh, I like the throttle on it and it is quite old but it's it's still a great it's still a great buy. This one's available obviously PS3 and PC, uh, Windows 8, 7 and 10, not 11. I'll leave a link for this one in the description. Um, uh, and yeah, that's a really good one to buy. Okay, thank you for watching. Um, if you could subscribe, that'd be great. I'll leave a link to in the descriptions for uh, all of these. And um, yeah, please subscribe. I'm, I'd really appreciate it. I'd really appreciate it. And have a great day. Bye.